Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my final class for a while. I'm going to take a little break. Um, today it's going to be a different class than um, what we've done in the past. We're going to do a resistance band class. So here's my resistance band. Um, it's a TheraBand if you know it like that. Um, there's different colors, so different resistances and you can if you have different types, you can mess around with them. We're going to double them up for extra resistance, um, but you can really do whatever. If you don't have a resistance band, i got options for you. Um, I'm going to, Virginia doesn't have a resistance band, um, so she's going to use a towel. And I have a couple of, like, cans. <laughs> these are black beans. Help me also. <laughs> uh, that these are kind of going to be our weights. And uh, if not, you can always... Um, we're gonna do some leg circles so you can have a strap or a belt. If you have like wrist weights, you can use those. If you have hand weights, that's great. You can play around. Um, of course, you can also just not use anything. <laughs> just your body weight is great. Um, so if you need a second to grab your stuff, do that. And we're gonna set up and get started. I'm excited. Uh, yeah. So for your towel, if you're using a towel, um, and I'll repeat this after. So yeah, so this is fine. So lay it out and then fold it in half long and then roll it the long style. way. Hmm? Hot dog style. Hot dog style, sure. <laughs> and then set it aside because we'll use it in a bit. We're going to warm up first. Um, all right, let's get started. So we're going to start in all fours today. So, uh, as always, we have our <coughs> wrists right under our shoulders, knees right under our hips, um, hip width apart, shoulder width apart. Um, and we're going to take our pelvic tilts, but from this position. So instead of going to cats and cows immediately, we're just going to um, isolate the pelvis. So inhale and just tuck the pelvis underneath. Imagine you're pressing your lower back towards the ceiling. And then exhale, release. Just the lower back. Try to keep the width in the shoulders and try not to open up the rib cage. Good. And do that a few more times. Start waking up the lower back and the pelvis. Exhale, arch that lower back. But nothing should change in your ribcage and shoulders. One more time, inhale, imprint the lower back. Imagine you're like stamping the ceiling. Good, and exhale, release it, nice. Now find your neutral spine, so lift up in the belly button, ribcage closed, just natural curvature. Now we're gonna go into our full cats and cows, so expanding that into our lower back. So inhale, tuck the pelvis, let the um, shoulders um, curve over, head follows, Look into the belly button, press down into the mat, arch, or no, curve the lower back. Nice. And then exhale, opposite, leading with the head and the tail, reaching out and up, arch that back. Maybe look to the ceiling. But if your back's not feeling it yet, just take it as slow and as um, big of a range of motion as you need. And again, nice calf. Good. And exhale. One more, calf, inhale, pulling up the belly button, trying to initiate the movement from your stomach, and shoulders away from the ears, exhale, calf, good, and come back to neutral, find your um, starting position, now we're going to fire up the core right away, tuck the toes, we're going to do our knee hover, and just hold for 10 seconds, inhale, and exhale, push just an inch off the mat, and hold for 10. Nine, shoulders down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, nice and easy. Good. Now from here, we're going to take our fire hydrants. So I'm going to start with my left so you can see. Left knee um, reaches out like this and bring it back in. Try to, um, and do that again with the same leg. Try not to shift on the opposite side. Try to keep that weight centered. So really push into the floor, squeeze the belly button. We have three more on this side. Remember, we're still warming up, so if your leg doesn't go as high yet, that's totally fine. Focus on the alignment more. Two more. So you're warming up the core, shoulders, arms, glutes, everything. Good. Now switch other side. So inhale and exhale, lift. You may your hip might pop. It's lovely as long as it's not painful. Good. And again. Keep breathing. 
Don't sink into your um, chest. I think two more. Last one. Good. Your wrists are good. We're going to do the knee hover one more time. So inhale, shoulder tuck. Exhale, press, and hover those knees for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down nice and easy. From here, we're going to alternate, reach the, um, one arm out and up, just the shoulder height, thumb to the ceiling, and lower down. Yeah, if you need to give your wrists a break, go ahead. If not, let's power through. Still warming up. Try not to shift side to side as you alternate your arms. Try and test our balance. Ribcage stays closed if you can. Think of reaching out and up within the shoulder blade. Good. Now let's take two more each side. This seems like it's nothing, but if you're really focusing on keeping that weight center, your whole my whole body is shaking. I don't know how. You glide. One more side. And remember to breathe. I always forget. Maybe that's not good. All right. Back to center. Last knee hover. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Press. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower down. Last thing here, I promise, reach out the right um, hand and left leg back, and you can flex or point that foot. Find your center, um, try not to arch into your lower back, really lift um, under that belly button, and just open the width of the mat, both arms and legs, and cross. We have five. Really targeting the obliques now and the obliques. Three, don't sink into the chest. Two, try to stay centered. Last one, good. Bring everything back in, nice and easy. Switch to the other side. So reaching out the right um, leg, left arm. Take a second, find your balance, don't kick your friends. And then just open, close, lifting into the belly button. Four, five, press the floor away. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, last one. Put the hand down, put the knee down. Yes, and let's take a quick child's pose. <coughs> um, and go ahead and give a stretch to your wrists. Um, because we're going to be holding onto our bands or towels or whatever, um, your wrists are going to get tired. So really quick, take a forearm slash wrist stretch. So turning um, those fingers towards your knees. And then you can either stay here if that's good or um, move your weight back. You feel that nice stretch. Good. And then go ahead and put um, your the back of your hands on the mat, fingers facing each other, and feel that stretch over there. And maybe rock your weight back and um, back and forward, with your fingers, and maybe side to side. Good, and then give it a final shake, and we're gonna go onto our stomachs. Um, before we do that, we're gonna lay our TheraBand or our towel. Um, if you have your towel, make sure that there's enough towel sticking over your head, because we're going to be using the towel to curl up. But if you have your TheraBand, just lay it long on your mat, Go ahead and just lie on top of it. <laughs> We're gonna have our knees to the ceiling, toes on the mat. Make sure you have enough TheraBand that you can grab. I'm gonna scooch down a bit. Or a towel. It's gonna hurt. No, it's gonna be Pilates though. <laughs> All right. Good. So we're gonna do go into right into our Pilates curl. Feet on the mat. Bring yourself forward. Okay. I don't mind. So. Grab onto your um, fair band or towel. Um, yes. Um, using that fair band, it's, um, you'll feel it more because you can actually pull it out. Um, pull the fair band out, uh, belly button in, rib cage closed, and just take a curl up. So this is an assisted curl up. Uh, lower down. And do it again. So especially if you have trouble with your roll ups. Um, 
This is gonna help you find those deep muscles. Good, and lower down. Yes. Two more, three more like this, inhale. Exhale, curl up, and try to really bring that rib cage to your hips. Lower down, and keep the neck long, don't crunch it uh, into the chest. Uh, two more, I think. And inhale, and exhale, curl up. Really use the caravan. Lower down. And last one. Good. And we're going to hold it here and just toss it up for 10, 9, 8, 7. You can really feel the deep abdominals working here. Make sure the belly button's not popping out. 5, yep. Yeah. 4, 3, 2, lower it down great so you can actually um now scooch off that bear band um and we're gonna bring it um i'm not gonna double mine up yet because we're still warming up i'm gonna bring it um inferior towel just use the towel right over your shoulders to the ceiling um and have some resistance so you're already engaging um your pecs your um arms your shoulders and the backs of your shoulders um, from here, bring those legs to tabletop, and you can flex the feet or point. Um, so make sure the tailbone is heavy on the mat, ribcage slows, belly button in. You're going to just um, lower one foot at, um, to the floor at a time. Uh, bring it back in. Good. And try to keep those um, legs at the same angle as you lower and lift. Um, and keep the shoulders away from your ears, nice and wide. Try to keep the resistance on your towel or band the whole time. Good. And initiate the movement from the core. Yes. And let's do one more each side. Good. Now the legs are going to keep moving like this, but as we lower one leg, the arms reach behind us and then bring everything back to center. Switch to the other side. And bring it back to center. Good. Back to center. Woo. Back to center. One more side, starting the shake. Especially if you're keeping that resistance the whole time. Good. All right, now both legs go down, both arms, obviously. Good. And everything comes back in. And if your legs don't tap the mat, that's totally fine. Just go as far as you can control it. Try not to tip the pelvis forward and bring it back. Don't crunch the shoulder blades as your arms are moving. Keep the ribcage closed the whole time. Yes. Three more. Yes. Two. Last one. All right. Good. And have the knees in. Yes. Now, um, for my TheraBand people, we're going to wrap, I'm going to sit down. We're going to wrap our thighs with our TheraBand, unless you have those round um, TheraBands. Um, kind of like the present. Um, if you have a towel, what you're going to do is taking it the long way, you're going to roll it up almost like you're making a snail. I don't know if you can see. Sit down to move so they can see. Yes, exactly. So once that ball is ready, you're going to put it between your thighs. So you have to really squeeze them so you don't drop it. And for your present, make it as tight, <laughs> your present, make it as tight as you want, um, but really try to keep it away from your knees. So maybe higher up. So that your ball is going to go between the knees if you don't have a pair of them. Um, and you might want to play around with it. Sometimes it falls, sometimes the towel on the top, like comes apart, but whatever. Okay. Once you're ready, press down onto the mat. Um, we're going to do our roll up bridges. So inhale, exhale, tuck that pelvis, roll up the spine off the mat, find the height of your bridge, close the rib cage, squeeze the glutes, squeeze your legs, squeeze the belly button. And then exhale, soften the chest. Woo, I'm already shaking, roll it back down. Okay, so just, all right, here we go. Um, yeah, you might have to just play around with it, okay. 
Let's do two more like this. Inhale, exhale, top the pelvis, peel the spine off the mat, reach the height of your bridge, squeeze it all. Good. No, nothing on the lower back. Good. Soften it back down. Oh, nice. Oh my God. All right. One more. Tuck the pelvis. Roll it up. From here, we're just going to take heel lifts. So squeezing everything together, lift the heels off the mat, lower down. Lift, lower. When you lower the heels, maybe the hips come up even slightly higher. Definitely no dropping of the hips. Let's go for eight. Shoulders down, seven. And six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, hold it up. If you have a towel, squeeze the towel in. If you have your TheraBand, pulse the knees out for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. You just pulse it in. Five, four, three, no, two, one. Good. Lower the heels and soften it down. Great. Let's do roll up one more time. Inhale. Exhale, roll it up. Good. Now we're just going to take some marches. So right leg to the ceiling. Good. This might be a bit weird with your TheraBand. If you have the ball, you got to just squeeze it as you lift. Yes, you might have to adjust. Good. How? This is supposed to stay. Squeeze it in. All right, last one, hold it up on the right and just push the knee out to 45 and bring it back in. Out, in. Three, two, last one. Good, lower it down, switch sides. <laughs> and out. Three, two, one. Good. Bring it in. Soften it down. Nice. We're going to repeat the heel lifts um, series with the pulsing of the knees either in or out. Adjust if you need to. Good. So inhale, exhale, um, tuck the pelvis, come to the height of your shoulder bridge. And one more time, we have 10 heel lifts for 10. Close the ribcage, shoulders down. Eight, seven, six, Five, nothing in the lower back. Four, three, woo, two. Last one, hold, either pulse the knees in, depending, or if you have your therapist, out for 10. Nine, eight, seven, woo, six. Pressing down on the mat with your arms. Three, two, one. Good, heels down, soften your back all the way down. All right, last thing here, I promise. Um, we're just going to hinge straight up from the hips um, and then tap the mat down 10 times. So adjust if you need to. Squeeze your ball or squeeze your legs. Um, yeah, let's go. Hinging up, tap down. Eight. No, nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, beautiful. All right, okay. So you can go ahead and we're gonna transfer, if you have the ball, um, keep it in between your thighs, not really between the knees, just a little bit higher. If you have your therapist, you can keep it here. We're gonna do um, hundreds, but for the next challenge, I'm gonna double wrap my calves together like this. Yes. No, I can't really do my calves. If you can't, if you, you can always just um, wrap it once. Um, this just gives it even a bit more. You tied it enough, all right. Well, while she figures it out, I'm gonna talk you through what we're gonna do for our hundred. As always, um, what you're gonna wanna do is keep your legs apart and the resistance of the band is gonna target your, um, your thighs. Um, so as always, you can stay here, but try to um, keep those legs apart. The further apart, the more resistance. 
Um, obviously, you can be in tabletop. Again, keeping those legs nice and apart, but don't pulse. Just keep them apart. Or here. And <laughs> try not to do what I just did, which is that. Um, okay? Um, all while doing our hundreds, of course. Okay. Are you all right? It's good. Oh, she did it. Okay. So, start lying down. Um, pick your leg position. I'm going to be in tabletop and then push out. Um, you can always do a combination of everything. Um, okay, I'm ready. Are you? I don't know. All right, inhale. Exhale, curl it up. Press your legs out if that's what you're, where you're going to be. And let's go. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, belly button in, exhale. Inhale, and 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 exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Dang, bring it down. All right, check it out for a second. I'm just checking my legs. Yes, okay. All right, so go ahead and tie it. If you have your ball, you can undo it back to that long towel. Because um, we're going to move on to that series. Okay. Um, I'm still going to keep my hair band long, but um, you can always double it up if you want more resistance. So bringing the towel or resistance band. Um, over your, to the ceiling, about hip, nope, shoulder width apart, and then add resistance by pulling your hands apart from each other. Same goes with the towel. Even if the towel doesn't stretch, you'll still feel it in your back. So find that position. Try to keep resistance the whole time. Um, bring your legs up to tabletop. Curl, curl it up, reaching those arms to the ceiling. Belly button in, extending one leg out, and switch, 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 for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, moving on to our double leg stretch, from here, legs and arms extend out, bring it back in, maybe tap your, um, Wrist your strap to your um, shins and out and in. Shoulders away from the ears, belly button and curl up the whole time. For four, three, two, last one, hold it out and pulse your arms out for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. Very nice. Woo! Yeah, the movement of the arms really also engages those deep abs. So, love it. All right, we're going to go on to um, leg circles slash scissors. It's going to be a nice little fun mess of a series. Um, I don't know if your towel reaches it, but we're going to do it here in your TheraBand, and this is like a strap or belt. That's where you can use it. Or just you do your usual leg circles. You're going to put your right uh, ball of your foot into your TheraBand, reach it up to the ceiling, and then if you want to cross those bands so you have, like, your foot is nice and secure, you can do that. Um, as always, um, the closer to your foot your hands are, the more resistance you have. So I'm going to bring mine a little bit lower. Um, I'm going to extend my lower leg, and your elbows can rest on the mat or not. And we're gonna take our leg circles um, over to the towel. Great. With the towel, you're probably gonna have smaller circles because, of course, it doesn't extend. Um, so from here, because I have the assistance of a band, I can take nice and wide circles. Of course, don't hurt yourself if your hips are tight. Um, so uh, find the engagement of the belly button, rib cage closed, shoulders down. We're gonna cross the leg over our body, bring it down and around. Good. Of course, the bottom hip does not move, does not rock. Nice. We have three more this direction. Okay. 
This is like a nice massage inside your hip socket. It's a good little restorative moment. And I'll switch. So leg goes out, down, and around. Bring it back to center. Good. In the meantime, your knee is nice and stretched if you can. So you're getting a good kind of flexibility training for the hamstring. I think two more? Sure. From here, try to get, get that theraband off, but try not to drop the leg. Reach that theraband back over the head with a nice resistance. Point to that top foot. Point and lift the bottom foot. We're going to have three, five leg lowers and lifts. Like little bot mods when I do this. So let's go for five, four, three, two. Curl it up if you can. One. And let's go into our scissors right away. So switching legs. Four, ten, nine, eight, belly button in. Six, five, shoulders down. Three, two, one. You should have the opposite leg in. So go ahead, put that ball of the foot in the there. Then we're going to take that whole thing to the other side. Um, so cross over the band if you have to. Extend the bottom. My This leg is not as good as the other, so... My poor hamstring is not happy. Um, but cross the leg over, bring it down, and around, and I'm going to get this necessary. <laughs> Four more. Try to close the rib cage. Belly button is engaged, so you're still definitely working. Energy through the leg, long back of the neck. Let's go two more. Sure. And again, you can um, have more fun with the range because of the caravan, but try not to roll on the hip. And uh, reverse the circle. And there's a person inside. I'm sorry. Four, three, two, one. Um, like we did before, get rid of the fair band. Just kidding. <laughs> You're holding it over the head. Pointing both feet, lifting the bottom off the mat, throwing it up. Five little batmas or um, lowers and lifts. Belly button in. Three, two, one, and ten more scissors. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Resistance on the band. Five, four, three, two. One, I have one more, just kidding. Okay, there we go. Good. Let's put um, our band or whatever we're using to the side for a second. Um, we're going to go into our uh, double straight leg stretches. Yes, I was confusing names. Um, for this, if you want to have your hands behind your back in a curl, please do. If not, you can always have that triangle under your sacrum. So where the lower back meets your roots um, for support. So whatever you're feeling, I'm going to take a nice curl. Um, legs go to the ceiling. Um, I like to have a little Pilates V. Um, so my hips don't get too angry at me. Uh, point or flex. Take a curl if you want to. And let's just lower and lift. Lower it as much as you can control it. So you don't want the pelvis tipping. You want that tailbone nice and heavy on the mat the whole time. And the belly button is not poking out. Rip cage are closed. Um, rip cage is closed. What else? Oh, I just did Let's go for five. And four. Three. Two. Last one. Yeah, I just created them. Okay. Last thing in our ass series. Woo! Um, simple crisscross, and today we're just going to do our simple crisscross. So, hands again, cross behind your head. Ooh, take a second. And, okay, legs go up to tabletop. Curl that upper body up. Now we're going to twist to the right as the left 
extend. Try to reach the armpit for the knee, not the elbow. Yay. And then switch. And switch. And switch. Let's go for a time. Speed it up a bit. And nine. Eight. Like a towel that you're landing, that's what your torso should be. Six. Five. You breathe it. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Bring it in. Nice. We're going to go on to our roll ups. So, thinking of that engagement that we had with the band going up, that's what you're going to try and chat and um, uh, um, that's what you're going to think about as you roll up. As always, you have your options um, keeping the feet on the mat, grabbing behind. Actually, you don't have that option if you're using a band or towel because we're going to use it. Um, but you can always use momentum to come up and then really try to use the resistance of gravity to come down. Um, okay, I'm going to double up my um, uh, band now because I think we're ready for some extra resistance. But you're, you don't have to, of course. If you have your towel, um, you can have your hands even closer together and really try to separate them apart as far as possible. Um, and just really try to find that engagement um, underneath your shoulder blades. That's the muscle you're target, targeting. Um, among, of course, everything else. Um, okay, so your uh, roll-up position. Um, we're going to take three roll-ups here. Um, of course, um, you want resistance on the bend the, the entire time. Uh, belly button in, shoulder down, away from your ears, your feet closed. Inhale, and exhale. Roll the top. All the way, and we're going to sit up nice and tall today. Nice. Good. And then punch in the gut. You're going to roll it all the way down. Again, um, try to really go as slow as possible on your way down if the way up um, requires you to use momentum. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, scooping the abs. Pull those arms away from each other as if you don't have enough to think about. Press the feet on the floor and sit up nice and tall. Punch in the gut. Nice. One more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Scoop the abs, roll it up. I hope you haven't let go of the band, meaning that butt resistance is still there. I, uh, my shoulders are burning. I don't know what's wrong with you. Good. Bring it down. Now we have three more. You can stay here or extra challenge, which we love. Bring those arms to frame your ears. Um, of course, resistance is always there. Inhale. That's so cool. This is hard. Pull it up. Oh, yes. Really scooping the abs. Scream if you have to. And then tucking the pelvis lower down. Make sure those um, shoulders aren't going up to the ears. It's hard um, to fight that temptation. Oh my God. Okay. Yay. Two more. Yes. Pull. Try to rip. Basically, you're trying to rip that uh, band. That's the energy you want. Good. Tuck the pelvis, roll it down. Those shoulders are nice and away from your ears. And last one, we're going to stay up. Roll it up. All right. Yes. I just went that. Bring your arms back in front of you. And you can shake out your shoulders for a second. So, um, Find that resistance that you just had, maybe you want extra, so you can triple up, I guess, or just bring your arms even closer together and pull them further apart. Um, if you're ready, we're gonna roll halfway back. Good. And now, find the scooping the abs, the lower you go, the harder it is. Pull that band, and you're gonna reach those arms overhead, and then kind of cross your legs a bit. And lift. And lower, try not to come up in your curl. Stay where you are, or go lower. Inhale, five. Woo! And four. Three. And two. Back is burning. Shoulders are firing. One. Good. Find your center. You're going to twist to the right. Pulse your arms out twice. Back to center. But try never to let go of that resistance. 
Twist left, pulse, pulse, back to center. Right, pulse, pulse, center, and left, pulse, pulse, center, one more side, right, pulse, pulse, center, Ooh, left, pulse, pulse, center. Now, we got pulse twice, center, bring in one foot. So, pulse, pulse, right leg in, back down, pulse, pulse, left in, down, pulse, pulse, Ooh, down, pulse, pulse. My arms are going to be sore tomorrow. I love it. Try to keep the shoulders away from your ear. Pulse, pulse. You should not feel pressure um, in your trapezium. So your neck should be medius. What is it? Yes. So it's, um, your neck should be nice and relaxed. Last one each side. One. Pulse, pulse. And last one. Pulse, pulse. And bring it. Up and over, like the last for a second. Woo! We're gonna take our um, spine stretch forward and saws, but using our theraband. Um, and depending on the length of your towel, this might work or not. Again, you can use a strap or um, a belt or nothing. That's totally fine, also, because this is more of a stretch than really like a muscle. So I'm going to bring the band behind my lower back and kind of hold it like you would be a jump rope, I guess, right? So your wrists are facing up and that's where you're holding your pair band. Um, careful that it does, like if you hold it here, that's what I'm doing it and that's what happens, so you don't want that. Um, okay, so sit up nice and tall, um, scoot side to side, really find your sit bones so you can be um, seated nice and tall. So the band rests, or towel if it works, um, on your lower back. Press your arms forward, lift the rib cage off the hips, and then start your spine stretch forward. So you're really feeling the press of your lower back into the band. But also, yeah, I don't think this works with the towel, so you can do it back. Good. Keep the shoulders away from the ear, and then stack the spine back up. Good. Your knees can be bent here. This is not being bent, so let's stay back. One, two more. So lift rib cage off the hips. Um, reach your heart forward, belly button back. Heel. I guess this is still a workout for you to hold your arms. And roll it back up. Last one. And use. The belly button as well as you would with this band. Nice. We're just going to take a saw each side. So if you are you have a TheraBand, um, you can use it. If not, just do it what Virginia's doing without anything. Um, but if you have a TheraBand, you're going to actually hold it um, this way. So I don't know. Happy. So I guess your palms are facing the front. Um, and bring it right where your bra, bra line would be. Again, careful that the um, that it doesn't roll up and slap you in the back. But it might happen. Okay, so shoulders are nice and wide. Lifting up, twist to the right, and then just um, slice your um, right pinky toe while you're trying to pull those wrists far away from each other. Lift and come back to center. I have to actually, I'm holding this too far apart so there's no resistance at all. All right, let's do this again. Uh -huh. So lifting those hips up, twist to the left, rotate the wrists, and saw your toe, pull the band apart. Good. Roll it back up, and come right back to the center. All right, so now we're going to move, uh, stay in this position, and do some extra arm work. Now, if you don't have a band, this is where our hands come in. What we're going to do, um, can I see this? Um, so if you have no bands, this is just a bit of a different exercise. We're going to do rows with the band. If you don't have bands, this works. It's an extra weight. Keeping those feet nice um, and uh, pressing down on the floor. You're going to roll halfway back and just pull those um, hands back and out. Back and out. 
This might not be as intense as the resistance band, um, but you'll still feel it. And if you have weights, of course, you can spin around with that. Um, you can also do this without anything. But if you have your band, we are going to, um, the further apart you have your feet, the more you'll feel this in your legs as well. Um, but you can have them just wider than your hips. Bring the TheraBand behind your feet. Flex those feet nice and, or uh, yes, because you don't want to lose the TheraBand. Cross that over, and again, the closer you hold it to your feet, the more resistance you'll feel, so you can play around with that. Um, make sure you keep this resistance. You're going to roll halfway back. So keeping those arms, um, excuse me, shoulders away from your ears, belly button scoops in the whole time, you're going to take these little rows. So the elbows go out and bring it up in. We have time. Again, this is not um, here. Shoulders are nice and wide in the back, down into the back. Go for eight. Try to resist it, especially if you're using the cans. Six. Eight. Five. The lower you go, the harder it is. Four. Three. Two. One. Sit back up nice and tall. Now you're going to flip your palms to the ceiling, um, reaching those elbows away from the body, and take little bicep curls. Same if you have the pins exactly. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ah, one. Good. Wide again. Repeat that whole sequence. So roll it back about halfway or lower. Pulse it, not pulse it, but um, roll, roll it out. Elbows wide, collarbone wide. Let's go. Four, eight, Woo! seven, six, five, four, three. This is better than the gym. <laughs> Two, one. Good. Sit back up nice and tall and those curls again. So for this, you want to make sure those elbows aren't hugged in. So the biceps really have to work. Seven, six, woo, five, four, three, and two, and one. Good. Oh my God. All right, let it go. Yeah. Yeah, if you have your elbows in, it doesn't do much. You feel it, but you don't isolate as much, and you're actually also using your tricep to release. So, stuff to play around with. Um, at the gym, a lot of people I see do bicep curls like this, which obviously is still working, but if you took your arm out like that, it'd be a lot harder. And I do look like this too, because I cheat. But. <laughs> um, okay, so let's move on to some side kick series, just to give our arms a break. Um, so again, um, you can put, if you don't have a fair band, you can just do this without. Um, but if you do, and you want to try, you can go. Um, again, wrap those thighs together like a present. Um, I took this stair class with my Pilates studio, and I loved it because it's, I kind of miss going to the gym and using weights for when you have stair band. That's basically what you're doing from your home. Okay, so if you're ready, um, we're going to do the whole series in tabletop. So lying down, I'm going to start on my right side. So my left leg will be working first. So imagine you're sitting like a lateral chair. So knees in line with the hips. Um, kind of um, stick that booty out a bit. Find a nice little lift under the obliques. Um, and then you can have your hand on your hips for less stability. And just lift. Yeah, this isn't very tight, but that's all right. Um, just lift and lower the top leg. Let's go for eight, seven, six, oops, five, four, shoulders down away from your ears, three, belly button in, two, and one, hold it out, little circles with the knees for eight, seven, try to isolate the thigh, five, 
four, three, two, one, reverse for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep um keep the leg where it is, space hold the knee, and just extend that bottom leg. We do this, we've done this a bunch of times so in our video. Um so the only thing that's moving is the, the knee that's hinging in and out. We have seven, take the booty out, six, five, oh god, ten more. I hate five kicks here. Three, two, one. Good. Bring those knees together. Now let's go into our turns. Ten. Oh my god. Nine. Um, I forgot to mention this before, if you don't have your TheraBand, you can also use your hand as resistance. So pressing down to open, and then inner thigh pressing down to close. It's a bit hard to find at first, but you can also play with that. And for the whole series too, you can use your own hands as the band. I lost count, let's go three, two, last one, hold it out, pulse out for a ten. Nine, eight, seven, squeeze the belly button, six, five, four, I want to try, two, Back it out. Yeah, resistance band gets you here. Okay, we're gonna switch it right over so we don't have to play around tying those legs together. So find that exact same position on the other side. Imagine you're sitting on a lateral chair, stack the knees, stack the hips, booty out, shoulders stacked away from the ears. Good. Um, flex those feet and we lift and lower. Lift, belly button in, and lower. Try to isolate that outer thigh. Good. I already lost ten. And let's say five. Woo. Four. Three. And two. One. Hold. We have little circles. Four, ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Five, four, three, two, one, reverse, like that. <laughs> eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now space hold the knee and just extend it out and in. Out and in. We have ten. Oh, something touched me. My hero feet. I lost count. Five. Four, stop laughing. Three. <laughs> <laughs> I can in the camera. Two. Last one. I. Oh my god, this is so painful. Okay. <laughs> Lower down, let's go for our clams. Ten. Again, if you want to use your arms as resistance, you can play with that. Seven. Six. Keep sticking the booty out so you can really target those muscles. And if you want to feel them, you can definitely feel them if you put your hands on them. So let's go for three, two, last one, pulse it out for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, oh my god, two, one. This is beautiful. Shake it out. What did you say? This is my first one. Okay, you're not even using the band. Okay, so, oh, yeah. Get rid of that band for a bit. Let it go. Um, we're going to do a couple planks before we stand up. So find your plank. I'm going to start on a forearm plank because then we'll move into something else. But you can also just do straight uh, regular plank just to give myself some variety. That's what I'll do. Okay, so um, extend those legs out. And you can always take a half plank if you're tired. Uh, belly button in, hips are down, shoulders wide, and let's hold it. Energy through the legs. We have about 20 minutes. Good, that's amazing. Right. <laughs> that was a very fast 30 seconds because I was counting it and I was shaking it <laughs> Fake 30 seconds, but okay. Now we're going to go into our full plank, you are there already. And we're going to move from 
plank to downward dog. So you can also get a nice stretch everywhere. And then back into plank for push up. And then just repeat that about eight times. Uh, good, all right. Nice, yay. So find your full plank. Um, so palms right under your shoulders. Um, find your full plank. Again, wide shoulder blades, push the floor away. Uh, hips are down, belly button lifted from here. Um, leading with the hips, go into your downward dog. Good. Then um, you're going to basically do a curl. Look at the belly button, curve the spine, come back over the arms, and take a push up. You can either do a tricep push up or a pack. You can alternate. I'm going to go for my tricep. Good. One more. I mean, something like right? Good. Out, if you can drop your heels, go for it. If not, it's okay. And then crawl it, really scoop in the abs to bring it forward. You can always drop the knees for a push up. Let's go, too. And you can do this at really your own pace. Three. Four. Halfway there. Five. Is it five? Okay. Six. Two more. No. Seven. Keep breathing. Not what I'm doing. And eight. Good. Find your downward dog. Stretch it out for a second. You can paddle your feet. See what you can do. Stretch it out. And you can drop the knees. Take a nice child's pose. Ooh. Good. Yeah, today's a lot on our upper body, but that's good because we need it. Um, from here, you can bring your hands under your shoulders, tuck the toes, and we're going to come to standing for some more exercises. I'll take a second, bend your knees, and roll it up. Okay, I'm just gonna adjust my cameras. So, uh, find, where is it? Okay, fair band. Um, we're gonna stand on it. If you don't have a fair band, you can use your thick weights, so your cans. Um, but if you have your fair band, you're gonna step on it. I'm about where the half point is, and the wider your feet, the more resistance you have. And the closer you reach towards the feet, the more resistance you have. From here, um, pretend you're basically in a squat. Have a nice lift in the belly button, and uh, don't arch in the back, because that's going to hurt. So, nice lift. We're going to take our um, chest flies, I think they're called. Um, so, reaching out and down. So, feel the pecs working, your um, shoulder blades. Yes. Good. We have eight. Six, you can always adjust your resistance. Five, four, yes, and Vijay is doing it correctly with the fake weights. Three, two, and one. Now from here, changing a bit the grip, thumbs are facing forward. You're gonna um, hug your elbows in, um, past your waist, and then extend back, so triceps are working. In and down. Again, back, out, uh, in, and out. Sorry, my grunts. Seven. And six. Ooh. And five. <laughs> and four. Three. Two. One. Good. Stand up. Shake it out for a second, and we're gonna do that again. <laughs> um, if you want extra resistance or less or the same, do what you gotta do. Find your grip. We're gonna do those flies. One more time. Send the hips back. 
if you want to widen your stance. Whew. All right, lift in the belly button and open. We have six connection problems. Four, three, two, and one. Good. I'm gonna just take it off for a second. Oh my god. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't do that, but my back is doing it. Okay. Um, now triceps. Last set. Elbows back. Extend the triceps. Oh my god. In, down, back. Woo! We're back. Sorry, Instagram. I'm not even counting. Five. She lying about me. <laughs> Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. And shake it out for a second. Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna do another thing for the triceps. Um, if you have your cans, keep having fun with those. We'll eat them later, maybe. Um, if you have your TheraBand, fold it in half. You're going to stand, oh my god, I can't even, okay. Stand on it, on the ends of it, with both feet. And so my hoop is on my right side. So I'm going to use that as um, my weight. So this time your elbow can be in your body, and you're just going to bring the fist into your body and towards your shoulder and down. And let's go for eight. You can also separate it a bit. The elbow, that's even more work. Five, four, shoulders down. You can have a hand on the hip. Two. One, good. If you have cans, it's really up to you to use your own muscles for resistance, and that comes with practice. But maybe imagine you're like underwater and you really have to, um, you can't see me, but you have to really um, fire the muscle to bring it in and like basically make it shake and down. It's obviously not the same, but you can also train your body to work with its own weight. And like muscle awareness, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, I understand how they do it. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, it comes with practice for sure. But yeah, maybe think you're underwater. Or like you're in peanut butter or honey, so you really have to um yeah, use that resistance. Peanut butter. Okay. And let's go. We got ten. Nine. Try to keep the elbow where it is. That's not what I'm doing, but and seven, <laughs> six, five, it does feel like it's gonna snap, four, three, good, two, last one, nice, all right, we did it, okay, put that away, really quick for a nice stretch, um, you can see them better than me, but I'm gonna stay back there, excuse me, Take an inhale, lift it up, and then kind of um, use your hands, you can't see me. What I'm going to do is using the hands to initiate the curve of the spine, and just roll it down, kind of how you would peel your spine off and on the mat during your roll-ups or shoulder bridges, and then just hang down. If you need to have a bend in the knees, you could do that. If not, just let gravity do the thing. Um, you can put your hands behind your head for extra weight to really let the head drop. And you can nod or shake your torso up and down, kind of, and then right to left, little swings. Try to release the back, did a lot of work there. And then bring your hands to the floor or wherever they are. Belly button initiates, start rolling up the spine. Belly button pulls you up. The whole time, shoulders are away from your ears. Nice. Well, that's it. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this different class. My hair is a mess again. Not the ears. Um, but it's just a bit different to just target a few different muscles, slightly longer too. Thank you so much. Take care, and have a great week.
Bye.